Welcome back, everybody. And for those who are new joining me, I am Chef Jennifer Basil. We are touring Italy from north to south. We've now migrated south into Sicily and Calabria. We're gonna do two dishes today. They're rolled dishes, so we're gonna do a stuffed chicken dish called pollo in voltini, and we're going to do my favorite, bracciole calabrese. So stay tuned, and we'll get those recipes cooking. All right, our first rolled recipe we're gonna do today is pollo in voltini. It is chicken that we're going to stuff and we're gonna roll it. We're gonna pan sear it um, with a simple pan sauce. So let's get started. We're gonna take our chicken. This is a great recipe that we're doing today to get all that stress out. So if you've had a stressful week, I would make this for a Friday dinner. <laughs> take your chicken breasts. We're gonna cover that with plastic wrap. You don't have to, but I think it works easier to pound this out and then your um, meat pounder or mallet doesn't get all sticky with chicken meat. So, ready? Who are you angry at? So we wanna pound them thin. Just like that. Don't you feel better? I do. <laughs> and we're going to layer these with some prosciutto. We'll add some saltiness and some mozzarella. You can do slices. These are the little circles. We just kind of cut them in half. I don't want to fill it too much or we won't be able to roll them. I'm also going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. some sage and then we'll get this rolled up and we're gonna stab it with a toothpick and then we'll take it over to the pan and we'll start cooking so this dish is actually popular in southern Italy. As you know, we've now moved to the south and we're in Sicily and Calabria. And we've used mozzarella in this dish instead of pecorino like we were using in the central part of the country. Okay, we're all set. Let's go over to the stove. So we're over at the stove getting ready to pan sear our chicken before we make the pan sauce. We're doing a rolled dish again, not you know the kind of rolls you're gonna get from eating all this Italian food, but just uh, a good light chicken dish that is rolled meat. So let's start by putting some olive oil in our pan that's hot. And you know me, I like a little bit of butter. In Southern Italy, they use olive oil. In Northern Italy, they use butter, but I just think butter makes everything better and it also will create a little bit more of a brown sear on your chicken. So we'll just add a little bit to the pan. While that's melting, let's season our chicken. It's important to make sure that you season your food with salt and pepper, just a little bit. And since we're not using a salty cheese in this dish, it's okay to use more salt than you, we have in the past. So let's get these down. We're not gonna cook the chicken all the way through. These will cook quicker because they're a thinner cutlet um, because we pounded them out. But we do wanna get kind of a sear. We'll take them off the pan. We'll make our pan sauce, then we'll put them back in and kind of let them simmer in that sauce for a little bit to finish cooking through. With this dish, you don't have to do exactly this filling. Some people put spinach in it. You could do spinach and provolone. Um, basically, involtini means to roll. So you could do any filling really that you want. With this dish, this is just classic for Southern Italy. We 
keep that mozzarella from falling out. It's trying to peek out and melt. All right, let's go ahead and make the pan sauce. So I'm going to deglaze the pan with some red wine. And no, I haven't started drinking yet, but probably will by the end of the show. We'll let the alcohol burn off, because again, we're just trying to get the flavor in our sauce. We're not trying to get saucy from the sauce. Kind of let some of that alcohol burn off. I am going to add some of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes to give that sauce a little bit different flavor. And then my favorite thing to do, again, not very Southern tradition, is we're gonna add some butter, which is gonna create some unctuousness. Okay, we'll pull our chicken back in. And we'll cover this and kind of let it cook for about 10 minutes. During that time, we'll turn it every once in a while to make sure that we're cooking the chicken all the way through on all sides, and we'll be ready to serve. So our chicken's cooked through. I used the red wine because you know me, I love red wine. You certainly could use a white wine for this dish as well, but once it's cooked through, let's remove the toothpick so nobody stabs themselves in the mouth while they're eating this. Ooh, look at that mozzarella, nice and melty. Put some of that pan sauce on there. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I should eat this or drink it. And you can garnish it with a little sage leaf. And that's our chicken roll pollo in voltini. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep these dishes rolling. Okay, guys, we're going on to bracciole calabrese. This I learned how to make in culinary school, and I swear after I had it the first time, I was like, this is my favorite Italian dish. So this time we're using flank steak. We're gonna make a breadcrumb filling on this one, and then we're gonna braise it slow for about an hour um, in a tomato sauce. So to start the filling, we're gonna take our breadcrumbs, egg, and I'm actually just gonna use one for now, because we're just trying to get this um, so it, that it binds. We're gonna put some parsley in there, and some pecorino. I love the Italian cheeses. And we'll mix that up till it kind of forms like a paste. And see, now I'll add the other egg. That's a little drier than I want it to be. You don't want it too dry. You don't want to feel like you're biting into a beef roll of sawdust. <laughs> there we go, that came together nicely. And we're gonna take our flank steak, we've cut it, we pounded that out, just like we did with the chicken, with our mallet. So we've got nice thin rolls of beef. Just take about a tablespoon, depending on how wide your meat is and how you cut it. So we'll do about a tablespoon. We're gonna roll that up. Tie it with some twine. So cute little meat rolls. We're gonna get all of these rolled and then we're gonna go back over to the stove and get those seared off before we put them in our luscious braising tomato sauce.
Okay, we want to go ahead and get these seared. So olive oil in our pan. And I'm a fan of doing food in one pot. I don't like to do dishes. So we're gonna use this pan. We'll take the meat out like we did the chicken. We'll make our sauce and then we'll put it back into braise. So this is nice and hot. And I'm not going to overcrowd the pan. Overcrowding the pan creates moisture and all you'll get is gray meat. You won't get a sear on it. So we'll just do, yeah, perfect, two batches. We'll do five at a time. So in Southern Italy, um, believe it or not, they actually, um, in the old days, used to be vegetarian. They used to eat a lot of vegetables, um, a lot of pasta, and a lot of bread. They didn't actually eat a lot of meat dishes. This was actually a dish that was um, kept more for nobility, but they love to use eggplants and tomatoes and cauliflower. Those are um, popular vegetables in Sicily and in the southern part of the country. All right, we're getting, this is getting good color. I just think the little bundles are so cute. Can't wait till this is done and eat it. So you can kind of see from the steam that's coming out the pan how hot I have this pan. And we're just turning them over, get some good color on all sides. I mean, look at that brownness. Isn't that nice? We'll get that second batch going. So you know that I'm a fan of wine. And so we're gonna do a red wine based tomato sauce for this dish as well. Okay, we're ready to start our pan sauce. So I'm actually gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. And again, to glaze it with your wine. That's gonna get all those little brown bits off the bottom. Let's add some fresh garlic. Some rosemary. Kind of let that cook for just a minute and part the flavor of the garlic in the wine base. Then we're gonna add our tomato sauce. I'm using again the fresh plum tomatoes that I pureed. You know, and there's some debate on how you pronounce this dish. So in practicing my pronunciation, um, in Italy, they say it bracciole. I think it, my New York Italian say brajol. Same dish. We've got that mixed together. It's a nice, rich, deep sauce with that wine in it. Let's put our bundles back in. This is gonna be covered. And we're gonna keep it on a low simmer for about an hour until that meat is nice and tender. And it'll be ready to eat. I am so excited to eat this dish. Oh, it smells so good. We've got our beef bundles. Mm -mm -mm. Let's snip the string off. I don't think anybody wants to floss their teeth while they're eating. You usually do that after. <laughs> We'll take the string off. And we're going to put some of that sauce. We've got to get that sauce on there. I mean, we're getting saucy, aren't we? So how can we eat this without the sauce that we made? Let me grab a spoon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at that. 
Oh yeah. My favorite, favorite, favorite Italian dish that's not pasta. We'll put some Parmesan on, a little bit of parsley. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm eating for lunch today. <laughs> Bragiole. Thanks for rolling down to Southern Italy with me. We're going to stay in the South of Italy for our next couple episodes, so I hope you'll stay tuned for more. To recap what we did today, we did pollo in votini and we did braccioli calabrese. For those recipes and more, you can go to jenniferbasil.com. I'm gonna enjoy a nice glass of red wine. Thanks for watching.